The eagle should be periodically calibrated to assure proper sensor response. Also, the eagle should be calibrated whenever a sensor has been replaced. The frequency of calibration depends upon the amount and type of use. A typical calibration frequency is once per month. To calibrate an eagle, you will need a known calibration sample of the appropriate combustible or toxic gases. These samples should have concentrations in approximately the middle of the range of detection. RKI offers a 4-in-1 calibration gas cylinder to automatically adjust all of the sensors at the same time for the standard 4-gas eagle. You will also need tubing, a demand flow regulator, or a dispensing valve and gas bag to provide adequate sample gas flow. Utilizing the demand flow regulator and RKI 4-in-1 cylinder is the most efficient procedure and is the equipment used in this training. Take the Eagle to a non-hazardous location with fresh air conditions. Turn on the Eagle and allow one minute for warm-up. Perform a demand zero by pressing and holding the air button until the display instructs you to release the air key. This automatically sets the combustible gas and toxic circuits to zero and the oxygen circuit to 20.9 percent. Screw the calibration cylinder to the regulator. Next, connect the tubing to the regulator. The Eagle's calibration menu includes two methods of calibration, auto calibration and single calibration. Auto calibration allows you to calibrate all four sensors simultaneously. It is designed for use with the RKI 4-gas calibration cylinder and is the quickest and easiest method to calibrate the Eagle. Single calibration allows you to calibrate one sensor at a time. Use this method if you are only calibrating one or two sensors or if you are calibrating non-standard toxic sensors or if you are not using the RKI 4-in-1 calibration cylinder. To enter the calibration menu, press and hold the shift down button, then simultaneously press the display adjust button. Your eagle may display slightly different gases depending upon your eagle's configuration. To calibrate using the auto calibration method, use the up or down button to place the prompt next to the auto calibration menu option. Press the enter button to display the calibration values screen. The gas concentrations displayed in the calibration values screen must match the gas concentrations listed on the calibration cylinder. If all concentrations match, press the enter button. The gas readings will begin flashing. Now connect the tubing from the regulator to the eel's probe and wait approximately one minute or until the readings stabilize. Once the readings have stabilized, press the enter button to set the calibration to the program values. If your calibration was successful, the message Auto Calibration End displays followed by the calibration menu. If a sensor cannot calibrate to the proper value, the message Fail Push Air Key displays and the Eagle lists the sensor that failed to calibrate. The sensors not listed as failed have calibrated normally. The buzzer and alarm lights will activate so press the up button to reset the alarm and return to the calibration menu. Next, disconnect the tubing from the probe. Unscrew the calibration cylinder from the regulator. Press the down button to place the prompt next to the normal operation menu option. Then press the enter button to return to the normal operation screen. If one or more concentrations displayed in the calibration values screen does not match the concentrations listed on your calibration cylinder, you need to adjust the auto calibration values. From normal operation mode, press and hold the shift down button and then simultaneously press the display adjust button. Select the auto calibration screen and press the power enter button. To adjust the auto calibration values, press and hold the down button, then simultaneously press the display adjust button. 
The auto calibration screen for the combustible gas channel displays. Use the up and down buttons to set the correct combustible gas value. Press the enter button to save the new setting. The auto calibration screen for the next channel displays. Repeat this procedure to set the correct values for the remaining channels and return to the calibration value screen. Press and hold the shift down button, then simultaneously press the display adjust button to display the calibration menu. Use the up and down button to place the prompt next to the single calibration menu option. Press the enter button to open the single calibration menu. Use the up or down button to place the prompt next to the channel to be calibrated. Press the enter button. The single calibration screen displays for the channel you selected and the gas reading flashes. Connect the tubing from the demand flow regulator to the Eagle's probe. The Eagle will immediately begin drawing in the calibration sample from the cylinder. Allow the reading on the Eagle's display to stabilize. If necessary, use the up and down buttons to adjust the reading to match the concentration listed on the calibration cylinder. Press the enter button to set the span value. Single calibration end will display followed by the single calibration menu. Next, disconnect the tubing from the probe. Unscrew the calibration cylinder from the regulator. Repeat this procedure for any other channels you want to calibrate. Make sure you use an appropriate calibration cylinder for each channel. With the single calibration menu displayed, press the down button until the prompt is next to escape on the display and press the enter button. Now scroll down to place the prompt next to the normal operation menu option and press the enter button to return the eagle to normal operation. The single calibration method does not have a fail notification so you should replace sensors that cannot be set to agree with the calibration source, then recalibrate.